السلام علیکم ہم گونا ٹیل یو ہم اس ایکچل کنیکٹیویٹی آف جاوا اوپن ویل اوپن ہم اس ایکچل کنیکٹیویٹی ڈیٹا بیس ان دا ہم اس ایکسس سو دس از یو ہم اس ایکسس آئی ول کریٹ مائی ڈیٹا بیس اوکے فار دی کنیکٹیویٹی سو ہی آر ول ٹائپ نیم آف ڈیٹا بیس ول ٹائپ ڈی بی یس اینڈ گیو پاس ویئر یو وانٹ ٹو لوکیٹ دی ڈیٹا بیس ہم ہم گونا لوکیٹ دی فون دیٹ ڈیٹا بیس اینڈ ڈیسک ٹاپ So click on OK button and just click on create it will bring you here to create fields and values so click on design list and choose table name type table name I will type db so click on OK button type here your fields name column name user and choose text because we are going to choose numeric plus text so it will pass to your user text and then password it will be also text because password is contained numeric plus strings so text will contain uh, numeric plus strings ok now name I will type name of course it will be text ok we have successfully created now save it Now we will create DSNs for ODBC connectivity. We will go on control panel and choose administrative tools. Click on ODBC and create your DSN here. Okay. Go to system DSN and click on add. Choose MS Excel driver. This is your MS Excel driver. This MDB file path. Extension is used for 2003 version and ACCPD is used for 2007 version. So I and I installed 2010 version. So I will use this Microsoft version. Click on Finish button. We ask you data source name and choose your database. I will type it DB and choose your database. You have located your database and located it on desktop. So I will go on desktop. here where is my desktop yes my desktop system so click on this and you need to close this string my report because you have opened microsoft access so microsoft does not allow you if you open microsoft access and you are creating DSM so close first Microsoft access and then click on OK button ok db created click on OK button so successfully created DSM now we will go on netbeans and we will create new java file here and we will name this uh, java demo db demo db demo created still run this and create new gui in java i will get this db con demo I will choose two text fields because I am going to insert values on database so I need text fields 
I need one button also because when we click on button we will store on store data on database so choose one button also here Now we'll write code. First I will create connection between what to need to create connection. First try catch block. Without try catch block, you cannot create connection. So we need try catch block. Inside try catch blocks, we have to write all things. Okay. Exception create variable name. So we'll type here code. So first I need a string variable. I need variable, so I will create variable for multiplayer connection type variable I need so connection type one I need result set variable so I will create result set variable another one I need prepare uh, statement so I need prepare statement variable given error because I did not import web, uh, library files for them, so I will import library files for them. created variables now I need class and then for name to for name pass the variable driver now I need to connect from your table so we have created db to give any name here any variable name and then call your variable dbc so dbc and your dsn name now get connection Okay. This is our connection. 
connectivity so we can check whether it is connected or not so how we can check system dot how dot pin connected then you So something got wrong. So then I said that's it. So we are good. We'll go ahead. Now we'll insert records on database. So click on double click on insert button and type code here. Okay, try catch block. Without try catch block, nothing can be happen. I will type your code how to how to insert data bit how to get insert the record so here equal to con dot prepare statement insert in table name db Type your as it is field name should be as it is. password comma then password and then user name user password user name okay. now we are good so we need here dot execute query Three times. This one for this field, and this one for this field, and this one for this field. So user is the first field, password is second field, and user name is third field. So this data will go on this this field, and this data will go on this field, and this data will go on this field. Okay. We are viewed now. PS dot execute execute query. 
Let me check the date button. Got it wrong. Oh, two and three. Type another another name. Uh, I am here. And user name. Password one two three. Default user. Amir Muhammad one two three. Data has come, but message has not shown. It works. It works after execute query also, but now does not work. Not a problem. Have you try? It will work definitely. But after execute query statement, it also works. The option can also work. But no. So we are good. You have seen how to insert data using MS Access. So in next video, I will tell you how to retrieve data which I inserted already, and also I will tell you how to create a login system using MS Access in Java. So both of programs I will tell in next video. So see you in next video.